today we're looking at the Mini 3 Pro, but not just any Mini 3 Pro. We're looking at the DJI Mini 3 Pro with Freewell's anamorphic adapter. The anamorphic adapter is an interesting one because although I've been leaving it on my drone all the time, it's definitely a specialty use filter. Freewell has been talking about the squeeze factor of this anamorphic adapter because normally you're looking at something like a 1.25 squeeze all the way up to a two time squeeze where on this adapter the squeeze is a 1.19 squeeze factor. That means that you are getting a slight squeeze factor but you're not getting the same kind of crop you would expect to see if you were shooting on something like the Surrey anamorphics or the Vazen where you're going to get more of a cinemascope look. I think where this adapter comes into play is if you're shooting on a low budget production and that production is going to be anamorphic, well using this filter with your drone will give your drone footage the anamorphic look even if you had to add a little bit of crop to the top and bottom to have the cinemascope aspect ratio match both cameras. But using this filter you get not only the anamorphic look, you do get a little bit of flaring and specifically blue flaring as that's the coat that's on this adapter. Which is great for me because my anamorphic lenses are actually Surrey's anamorphics that have blue blue flares in them. Using this footage with my ground footage definitely helps match the footage a little bit better so both my regular footage and my aerial footage have that anamorphic look to it. So here is the kit that Freewell sends that comes with not only the anamorphic adapter, but also comes with a wide angle adapter and then a set of ND filters that work on both of these adapters themselves. Now you can fit both of these adapters on the camera lens without an ND filter and actually still use your camera gimbal protector. However, once you put the ND filter on, the camera won't quite fit with the stock protector, so just be aware, I would definitely take off the ND filters before you use either adapter. Now a word of warning, when it's really windy, I wouldn't necessarily use the ND filters as you're already kind of edging over the weight tolerance with both the anamorphic and wide angle adapter, and it seems like in heavy wind, you just get some shaky footage or sometimes your camera gimbal may go down. I just noticed it only in heavy conditions and really still conditions, I've never had an issue. Now I did speak to Freewell about why they chose to do a 1.19 squeeze versus a 1.25 and they said as much as they would love to do it, for whatever reason on the DJI drones, once they go to 1.25 as a squeeze, you start getting distortion in the corners, at least in the products they were making. So at this point in time, they think that they can't really make anything wider than the 1.1 one nine squeeze so that's why it is what it is however after playing with this anamorphic adapter i am really happy with the images it produces mixed with the dji mini 3 pro and when it comes to the wide angle adapter i'll be doing a review on it in a separate video but i was really very excited about this anamorphic filter so i wanted to do a video just talking about the benefits of using it i think if you're shooting any a roll on the ground that's anamorphic and you're trying to mix it up with some b roll from the aerial footage i think going the anamorphic route especially from free well as they're the only option right now makes a lot of sense on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. If you have any questions about Freewell's anamorphic adapter or you have any questions about my upcoming review with their wide angle adapter, make sure to put them in the comments below and I'll feature them in that video. If you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to also hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos from the channel. Until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. Thank you for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video.